Mer, 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 mer. Oh, here it's I go. It's Meredith's turn. Here I am. I don't hear that mer horn now. <laughs> yeah. Mer, what, mer, what, mer. Where's all that energy at now, all of a sudden? Uh, you just, you're getting sullied over there. You know you know how to do this. Y'all y'all are trying to get me today. I heard y'all talking nah, during the nah. song. This nah, is all beautiful questions so we can uh, un- Un- unfoil the uh, onion that is Meredith. We peel want the layers. the layers. We want to peel it all back. Uh-huh. Learn about the different kind of things that are going on in Meredith. Yeah, I like how you worded that instead. Y'all trying to get nasty. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I got questions over here where I can go in. Okay. Uh, anybody who hasn't heard Plead the Fifth, Plead the Fifth is six questions in total. There's three that come from the room, and then it's three that come from the audience. Any question you want to ask, unless it's been asked already, she will have to answer. But she only gets one pass, yeah. and she can tap out. Anything she does answer, she can then send it back to the room so we can get everybody's answer, and we call that a boomerang, all right? Uh, let's see. I'm clockwise, so I'm first. Okay. Uh, let's see. Meredith, I have a list here, and then I have a list. I have a file. Oh, anytime, you do? I, anytime a question pops up about no. you, and and it's not your week, I'll just throw it in a file. What what are they? What are these files called? I, I don't have a name for a, it. I got gotcha your file. It just, it just says Meredith PTF oh, next Lord. to it. Okay. All right, mm-hmm. um, Meredith. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Uh, let's go back to Meredith's young adult, young child, teen. T- okay, youth, teen. Youth, like high school. In the house with your mom. Yeah. And parents. Yes. Everything else. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's the most embarrassing thing that your parents caught you doing as a kid? Um, so, okay. So I would try to sneak my then boyfriend into the house when my mom wasn't there because she had a job. Right. So she would not be there sometimes. How old are we talking? Um, had to be 15, 16 years old. Oh boy. Maybe 16. We'll go 16. Oh, we outside. And so I remember... Oh, we would be like making out in the house and like doing stuff we shouldn't be doing. And sometimes it would be so hot and heavy that we would be walking in the hallway and we wouldn't make it to my bedroom. So there was this one time my mom, when it was just me home, okay, my mom walked in and she saw like a shoe print up up on the the door, like on the on the what is it called? The little um arch. <laughs> The the foyer, the frame, oh, the, the frame, the door frame, frame. the door, door frame. frame. You had a foot mark up on the door frame, and it was hot. And I was a cheerleader, so I could have, you know. Oh, it was your flexible. foot that was up there. Yeah, oh, she was getting making- bent up. <laughs> she was getting bent up. <laughs> and she, I'll never forget it. And she walked in, and she was like, "What? What? What the hell? Why is there a foot, a shoe print that high?" Up there. She knew it wasn't hers. I mean, I was stretching. Yeah, I was like, (laughs) uh, I I have no idea. That is so strange if I thought it was there. And she knew. She looked at me. She's like, listen. And then she took me to the gynecologist and then put me on birth control. Really? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, She's like, my daughter's not getting pregnant anytime soon. So it helped soon. you, though. It wow. did. It did help it you. Did. No, okay. <laughs> yeah. her, get on no, she control. was outside. She was in that thigh. I was with the same boyfriend I had for like almost That don't two matter. Years. You said 15. Uh, 15, 16, right around there. Yeah, I left yeah. the shoe print and my mom got, yeah, oh she found God. out all about that. Wow, okay. okay. All right. I still all right. lied about it. I'll lie to it to this day. Even if she's listening right now, I'll be like, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, no, whatever. This is going up on the web. <laughs> she don't know. She don't know. All right, what you got? All right, Meredith, you seem like a pretty confident person. Okay. But I want you to name one thing you are insecure about that you've never told anybody. Oh, um, I have definitely gotten definitely more confident about who I am. Okay. Um, you know, I think that that comes with age as well. There's one thing, though, that just kind of I'm uneasy about, and it happens every day, if not every other day. It's mothering and just trying to I, – I'm still – there's no manual. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to do my best every single day. Some days I'm good. Some days I'm not. And so I do feel insecure to this day about being a good mom. And I try to read up on it and I get advice from people that I trust and all this stuff. And it's a day a day in, day out kind of, um, you know, job. But yeah, so I, I do feel insecure about mothering and motherhood and just trying to be 
everything for them. You that's, know what I mean? It's hard. That makes sense, though. I mean, yeah. it, it doesn't make sense as far as you. I mean, I think you're a great mom, but I do know that most parents do feel that way. So, yeah. I, I mean, that's understandable. Yeah. And it's good. I mean, that actually makes you a good mom to question your motherhood. You oh, know? and instead so, of thinking I know everything? Yeah, exactly. I don't know there's everything. a lot of ladies out there like, I am not doing it wrong. You're like, <laughs> yeah, you are. Nobody like, can tell me anything. Yeah. All right, uh, Meredith, um, since we're going to, since we were already there, let's keep it as sex in the house. Okay. Uh, what would you guess? Your mom's favorite sexual position. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Whoa. What? 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 <laughs> oh, God. What would you guess? Lord Jesus. Mama Marehorn's oh. favorite go to move uh -oh. would be based uh -oh. off of how you know your mother better than anybody put, listening. Put your, just put your finger on the button. Now. <laughs> just put your finger on the button now. I don't know if I want to talk about I have like heart palpitations right now. I got anxiety. Um, um, Tell the truth, Ruth. Ooh. I don't know if I want to even mention this. Nah. But I feel like, okay. You I got people already asking questions, so you don't know if you want to keep that pass or not. <sighs> okay, I'll answer it. I might puke, but oh. I, I feel like it's like mother, like daughter. Um, so pretty much, she's gonna tell us her favorite position is. You feel like you feel like your mom's. mom is in your space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because so. we've had like conversations. Like we have a pretty open relationship, and she was a nurse, so we've talked about sex before, and you know it's pretty funny. This ain't in, our in no medical books. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gone in depth with it. I will say that, but she has brought up you know doggy every now and then. Oh. It's just to make a joke, but I, you know when someone makes a joke, it's kind of real. It's like that's what's on your mind. And I'm like, okay, well, we got something in common, but I don't want to talk about it with her. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you think your mom is barking? All night long with her husband. That's really? What I mean. yeah. Yeah. Right? That's what I think. Wow. If I'm the guest, that's what I'm going to be guessing. Damn. I love it. I love it. Pray All right, wait. 888 is now on you. No. Ask the question you want for Meredith coming up for part two. Hold on. All right. Uh, so let's see. You got three coming from the audience here. You want to read one? Yes. Great. All right. Rich. <laughs> Out of the 863, Ugh. Anthony allows you to bring another man to the bedroom. Ooh. But it has to be someone at the radio station or in the building. <laughs> Who you pick? Anthony just turned oh off the radio. God. He's like, I don't even want to hear this right now. People probably driving the girls to school right Wait, now. Wait, so it's a it's a devil's three way, and it has to be with somebody. In hey, the it doesn't have to be a devil's three way. That's a devil's three way. That is a devil's three way, but it just says who in the building. But it says, oh no, it, it does says say a man. man. You're right. You're yeah, right, that's right. the devil's three way. Uh, All right, man. Who who you think will play well with Anthony? <laughs> Now, now this is this is this is like they still, you know. What? It's yeah. not gonna. It's a, they ain't dealing with Anthony. That's just. It's just said for it, me. They don't, they don't, Anthony like he's allows watching. They don't do it in banjo. No, no, no. <laughs> Anthony allows you to bring it in the bedroom. It, right. But means... I'm saying, but they ain't got to kick it with Anthony. We're not saying that. I mean, if I had to pick somebody. Yeah. I don't know if I should. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go ahead and plead the fifth. Yeah! What? Are you serious? Yeah, you're welcome. What? Yeah. I have to stay married just somehow. Hit it. Uh, hit, just hit I, it. I plead the fifth. Oh. Just hit it. Plead the fifth. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, she is wide open right now. I already put All him right. through the sex sounds last week with me being in pain, and now oh, it looks yeah. like this is a lot going on. Listen, uh, Anthony is not ready to hear you make any more noises on the radio. <laughs> I forgot we had those. Stop it! I forgot we had those. I don't ever want to hear those again. All right, uh, out of the eight one three. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, uh I don't know, but my boobs are sweating. I don't know how yeah, that's. Sorry, right. we we'll work on those later. All right, all right. So uh, out of the eight one three, it says, "Would you, or have you ever hooked up with Babs?" Oh. What would you think that would be like? I think. How, it I close your eyes and imagine mm. you and Babs mm -hmm. in the throes of passion. Drunk. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Y'all would, okay. would have to be liquored up. Okay. Feisty. You um, are you or her? Both of us. Really? And then I think it would be if I was single and into that. I think it would be a lot of fun. I think she's wild in the bedroom. I also think she wants 
uh, to be like uh, a little aggressive as well. Like she who would be the most dominant do. out of you? Two? Oh my God, Babs, definitely. Oh, really? Yeah. I see her putting like her hand around my neck. And, like, did did of... you see her with the simulator? <laughs> she, just she did take pain it. really well. She, like, she was enjoying it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think it would be a lot of fun and maybe something I would try again if we were both drunk at the same time. Wow. If if that was something we were both into. And you've never you never gone that route with a girl. No, have you? never. Yeah. Nope. Mm-mm. Wow. Yep. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. That's two. You got one more before the boomerang. One more, Meredith. What is one thing you would change about Wild? Oh, about Wild? Um, I don't know. I love, honestly, and this is me being honest. I, I mean, not only do I love working here, but I love the radio station in general. So something that I would change, maybe not having to post so much on <laughs> social media, <laughs> like a digital. <laughs> Although I know how important. It's very important. It's very important. Very and important. now apparently we're journalists at the same time. But it is a, it's very stressful because um what we do on air is just as important what we do for our website now and it just it takes up a considerable amount of time so that's what I would change. Amen, oh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those people who don't know, we actually like are like this it's like a full blown like magazine now. It's like, yes. you know, what we do on the air is part of it. But they feel like if we can be on here telling you, hey, this spot is great to buy a car or this spot is great for your insurance, Food. then we can recommend different stuff from around the city. And they're like, yo, Orlando said this is, place is popping or, hey, guess what? This fair is going on. So we, we're we doing a lot of content behind the scenes. Yep. And, and Meredith is one of the super soldiers that be in here yeah. cranking Thank it you. out. <laughs> so, you are a superstar. Right? Yeah, she be right. on it. All right. Got so you got, you got a boomerang to give back. I what, do. What do you, you want to give to the room? All right, guys. <laughs> I want to learn about your most embarrassing caught moment that happened to you guys as a teenager <laughs> oh you want to go first or me? <laughs> Wait, you already got one yeah i mean there's only one that i could really think of <laughs> um all right go ahead all right so uh this is when i was like 18 18 yes uh, 18 i had the third floor of my house like the attic i lived in new york um i was doing the deed with my girlfriend at the time oh and I didn't know, in but your, in, in your parents, in, your, in, in my house, yes, I was living with my mom, and uh, in the attic. she she's on the second floor. I'm on the third floor, <laughs> and you already got people rolling their eyes. <laughs> yeah. hey, this dude was smashing. So in I had my own house. floor, though. I had my own floor, and yes, I was. But uh, yeah, so I didn't know. But the next morning, I came downstairs, and my girlfriend had left already, and my mom straight up gave me a Nolan Ryan smack in the face. <gasps> And she was like, "How dare you do that in my house?" I'm da, 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 da. so glad. She and I'm did. like, and I'm like, well, how did you know? She's like, well, I heard something going on upstairs, so I went upstairs and opened the door, ah! and I saw. Yeah, and I was. Your mom saw you. Yeah, doing she your saw thing. me in the doing business. The, yes, she saw your ass thing. straight up in the Bro, air. Bro, do you know how disrespectful <laughs> that is to do it in oh, your I parents' know. house? I know, especially for a Hispanic mom. Then the chancla came out. I caught that. Wait, oh my God. and to slap your kid when he's 18. Yeah, though. I was 18. Okay, first of all, 18 don't mean nothing. I There's know. moms out there that'll take your kid down to 22, 25. They don't care. Some yeah. it doesn't work anymore. She must have had like but a mean I, slap. I, but shout out to my mom for not embarrassing me at in the moment. She let you finish. Oh, she yeah. let me finish. I'm and then let the next finish. day she called me. That was my, oh my God. That, she God. caught me though. Like I'm talking about Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> Right in the face, dog. Wow. All right. Uh, mine uh, isn't that bad, uh, but it, it's embarrassing. Um, in our basement, they, my dad set the whole basement up like an entertainment space, and they put a carpet down there, which was really r- kind of close to that astroturf, mm. the the green stuff. Yeah. But this one, this is brown. Everything was brown, like wood and everything else, and so the brown carpet was very prickly, and. Like my daughter is now, strangely enough, I was addicted to my mom scratching my back. If I would lay it on my mom's lap, I'm like, Mom, scratch my back. Aww. And she had with the nails, and I loved it. And if she wasn't going to do it, I was going to try and get my sister to do it or somebody. Because <laughs> I couldn't get up again. There was no curves, like no sharp points yeah. that I could really <laughs> scratch my back on like a bear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't yeah. do it myself. Like Baloo. And I really needed my back scratched. And I was like 14 yeah. Like maybe 14. Okay. And so I had just got out of the shower and I was like, man, I was like, my back was itching. And so, and nobody was home. So I went down to the basement and I'm butt naked. <laughs> 
went down to the basement and laid on the brown carpet, the prickly brown carpet downstairs. Which things and is ju- and just started right. <laughs> moving my back and forth and it was the it was so good. I I I I had to be like 10 15 minutes I was down there like just rolling around like a big bear on the ground <laughs> and scratching my own back. Uh-huh. And it was so prickly that it felt so good and when I'm coming up the stairs my mom comes in with the groceries. Oh, oh. And I'm walking past butt naked out of the out of the basement. <laughs> like, oh, and, and so I'm like covered up and she's like, "Boy, what the hell are you doing down here butt naked?" I'm like Nothing. I went, I went down to the laundry room and I ran upstairs. And my mama went downstairs. It wasn't no, I, it wasn't no laundry going on. Yeah. It wasn't nothing in there because she did the laundry. Mm-hmm. She's like, that boy was down here doing something. And she oh. came upstairs and was like, what were you doing in the basement? And I was like, I went down there to scratch my back. And she turned me around and I had all these scratch marks on the back because I had just got out of the shower. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, yeah, it was embarrassing. You know, they have brushes for that, right? <laughs> they have like the, those those. The I got guy. one. I got one in my room now. I do it every morning. I scratch my own back. Yeah, my sure daughter's that? actually scratched her own back now. You sure that was the only thing you were doing? Yeah, down there, no. Boy? That was what I was doing. Yeah. Like, what is that? Anyway, it's a wrap. <laughs>